Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and oh my godness wasn't it hot yes it was and yesterday was absolutely excruciating I have to tell you I got to 142 on my deck which is covered and facing south Honestly, I'm surprised I'm doing today's video because I'm still recovering and it's hot again today. So first of all, a couple of things that I did at the weekend and one was, if you remember last week, I think it was on Friday, I lost the pin out of my art glitter glue and I couldn't find it until I stepped on it and so eventually I found it. But I used some UV resin and my torch and I hope you can see that. I'll stand it up there there you go i've now got this gorgeous little abalone flower on the top so it pulls out it's quite sturdy and uh, if it ever breaks off i'll just you know resin it back on again but now if it falls on the floor there's absolutely no way i'm going to be able to miss that so really love it and it's pretty like I've got a flower coming out of my glue and the other thing that I got on Friday which I didn't share was I've got a new embossing folder this is a 3d folder so it's really thick and you just use it as you would any 3d folder so I was able to have a quick play and I did myself a little snowman and I embossed it and cut a piece out just so that you can see the quality of the embossing so i've got my little snowman on there i haven't finished it off yet but you can see on the reverse so really happy with that and i will link that one below for anyone that likes 3d folders right so back to today and i'm just reaching across my desk we are up with panelisa again and i think this one is going to be um the final halloween for this week and i'm going back to the tombstones i just want to be able to do something quick because i'm so hot and it's this one so we've got our little gravestone and we've got our layering piece and as you can see there it can be a shaker if you want to but i want to do it a bit more sort of like grown up i've already done it cute so i've got a scrap of black cardstock here this is one of the tim holtz craft cardstock packs so i'm going to use that one it's got a slight sheen on it and i hope it's not glaring on the camera and this beautiful piece of paper from Panalisa. so i'm going to do two of them and i want to use this image i want to use this image with a little bit of this in it and i want to fussy cut those butterflies out because i think they're wonderful and also from um, another piece that i cut out and i used for something and i cannot remember which uh, there was this scrap here that says black cat and i kept it so if you can see that there you go i want to be able to use that on my kitty cat one which is very batty love that but right, i'm gonna go away i'm gonna cut with my dies and then i'm gonna come back and let's put it together and let's fussy cut the butterflies and pop them on back soon okay so i have been and i have die cut and as i said in the haul video um these would make fabulous trading cards for halloween you know if you belong in a trading group apologies for the glare once again and here is the kitty cat piece that will go on top here and my little owl piece and as i said you know i was keeping a little bit of that cobweb so these kind of you know quite grown up so that's basically how they are going to go and then from this one you can see there's a little edge of a butterfly and so it cropped off this bit but that's all right because i'm going to cut that in half now and i've got these two that i'm going to fussy cut so i'm just going to grab my scissors oh look i've got to show you nice and clean goo gone get your goo gone you get a lovely size bottle from dollar tree it's just the perfect size two fluid ounces and it will last you for years right so even though i've lost that bit i'm going to be keeping this bit here and i just want to keep that body i do like to keep scraps of stuff like this because they're so useful for so many things 
Now, if you feel confident cutting out a teeny weeny weeny butterfly antennae, go ahead and do it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not confident to go that small. I mean, if you can always add antennae back by using thread, really fine black cotton that's been stiffened in glue, or you can use wire. You know, it's entirely up to you. So I'm just taking that bit out there. Hopefully that's clean. I do like to fussy cut. And you're always better off moving the piece rather than moving your scissors. That's the best advice I can give you. And then we're going to go in and take that. And then I've just got a little tiny white bit down here that I want to get rid of. And then the idea is my little orange bit that's up there, I'm going to be able to have a little sideways flying butterfly covering that little bit up. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fussy cut these out and I'll be right back. Okay, so my fussy cutting is complete and I've got my uh, black ink blending tool and I tend to keep this one out. And all I'm doing is just taking off some of the harshness of the white edges of the paper just go around them and just give them a little tickle now my big one is going to go onto my owl card so and then I want the two smaller ones for the cat card now I think it's um, black soot oxide that I've got on here so I'm trying not to be heavy handed. Now I did cut the little tail piece of the butterfly. Can you see that? <laughs> I was being brave, yeah. So I did manage to get that piece in. Right, and I think that's about it. So little butterfly's done. Now it's time for the glue and my my lovely little flowery top that's going nowhere look at that i'm just gonna stick it down with confidence it's not rolling anywhere right let's get some glue and pop this down now i've got a little bit of gunk on the end of that There we are, we're free flowing now. And I'm going to pick that one up and stick it down. Hopefully, I've got it down even. Tidy up the glue along my edge there. But isn't that cute? I absolutely love that. Now I'm going to stick down my owl. Try and get it in the centre and straight again. go there I think that's okay I mean it's so quick to make something when you've got great pattern paper right so there we go with our owl and our cat and I, I do believe I got them on straight let's just make sure they're nice and flush Right, my little fussy cut pieces, I'm going in with some glue here and I'm going off the edge of the card because I just want to cover up my orange bit and then I don't know whether to have that one there or whether I should have it up there. No, I think I'm going to go to the other side. I do apologise if my camera is going blurred. I'm just gluing down in the body so that I can manipulate my wings up a little bit 
and I'm going to pop that there. Right, so that one can dry. And then with my big moth, I want to manipulate the wings again, so just onto the body. And I'm going to bend that up, and I think I'm going to have that there. Right there with my little owl. So we've got that. I'm just going to pin my glue. Which, you know, I still can't see the hole, but at least I can see the pin. <laughs> That's hilarious, isn't it? Oh, goodness me. Right, I want to go off and cut this out. I don't know if I'm going to guillotine it. I think I probably will, but I just want the black cat so that I can put it there at my cat's paws and I'll be right back. So I actually did decide just to chop it down with my scissors. So I'm now going to take the white off the edge there. And I just want it down at its little pores like that. So, flour off the glue bottle again. And a little bit of glue. It's going to go down there, like that. I don't want it to be straight. Right. I'll just pop off my glue again and hold them up so you can have a look. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, there we go. Aren't they sweet? I absolutely love that. You can go around that with a black liner as well if you want to, and that's probably something that I would do. And then you've got that. You've got a little bit of dimension. So if you're in a swapsy group, I do have to say that this is absolutely perfect and I am getting my black liner out now so you don't have to be straight when you're doing stuff like this just do your thing just get a fine liner and um, go around it in fact the more scratchy the pen lines on uh, a Halloweeny thing I think the nicer it looks and I'm also going to put some scratchy lines along there there we have it we have a black cat and we have owl right I thank you so much for joining me today now I can tell you for the rest of this week we are going to try and be a little bit floral and a little bit pretty so you have an absolutely awesome day I'll straighten up my backdrop <laughs> I thank you so much for joining me and as usual all links below. Bye!